And now we have the rough cut of the rim. So now I will continue on and define it more and get it round. And of course I will start using this because it goes faster to shape it now. Uh, and of course, as you probably remember, I used just the ordinary knife, you know, carpenter knife or whichever you call them, to cut the edge. I have now the rough shape of everything. I'll go over with a fine sandpaper, sandpaper, and uh, then we start priming. Yes. <laughs> I have to say, I have actually no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to priming now. I have <laughs> put, you see, one million meters of tape <laughs> around the wheels. <sighs> oh my god. Please tell me, am I doing right or am I just stupid? <laughs> uh, but, but let's do priming now, because I want to go home. <laughs> We're ready now. Uh, we have our, our improvised painting room. We're protecting the out, outer wall of the garage. Uh, and what we will use is, of course, primer. Silver rim colors paint I mean and of course a top coat I don't know if you really need that but why not why not everyone likes shiny things we like sparkling shiny things so now let's do it and as with the brake calipers uh, let's start with a primer and try to do a very thin first layer because for some reason, it gets a better result. I have no idea why. But the professionals say that, and I trust the professionals, because I'm a stupid amateur. But I'm having fun. Fun! I'm having fun. Like that. Let's do the next one. If someone want to comment that why don't I have a breathing protection, it's because I'm outside, so everything blows away. Because have you tried to buy any protection for breathing now? Hmm? Impossible, Corona. Let's do second layer of prime. God damn, I'm so stupid. Okay, I have put on the first layer of, 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 of the, the paint, but of course I forgot to push the button on the camera to record. So, but now the first paint, the first layer of silver paint for the rims are on. What are we now? Uh, second layer of paint. Third layer now. Four layers now, but now let's do some top coat and then we say it's good night. And this is of course now I wait two minutes, three minutes, something like that, and then I do it again and like three times and then it's now enough. Enough, enough. Time to do another layer. Final layer now. Because it's getting cold now and soon we can't do any more painting because there's like freezing temperatures. Yeah. Now, let's 
wait until this dries and then we'll take off everything and see how it looks and we finish this video because now I've been shooting for over six hours we're finally finished and this was a very long day I never want to do this again but I want to do show you just the result of this and then if you look at the back wheels that has not been doing I have not been done anything for one and a half years or something like that so and all in all no I like the 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 I like the result tires looks very good now and no marks and anything so yeah very good so now finally we are at the end of this video it's insane long uh, seven hours today uh, all in all and was it worth it well it was fun to do I have never done this before I mean I mean with all the all the different things I had to do and and and, and use machines and oh, it was fun but Jesus it took a long time and I still have the two back wheels on the Alpha that I, I need to do so all the tires look the same for next winter because it's my winter tires and yeah thank you for watching this video and after you've seen this never do this no if, if you have a problem with your tires send it to a specialist it's worth the money please so go out in the sun and drink drink beer instead it's much much more fun <laughs> goodbye